Today I'm talking about one of the combos that I find most versatile for the style of fishing that I do. Um, basically if I was asked to choose one rod, one reel and catch almost everything in the, the ocean, it would definitely be my BG Power Spin 10 foot 6. As you know it's a three piece rod. It's nice, it's small, it's very compact. The little BG 3000 reel it's got a very nice retrieve, 5.6s to 1. So that would be perfectly matched to this 10 foot 6 of mine. And of course, if I was spinning for shad, let's just take one species at a time. All that I would require would be a little tackle bag like this. So this is our little kingfisher bag that we use a lot of. It's made by Teza. It comes with a little um, see-through buddy like that. So basically all my spoons that I would need for shared fishing would fit in there and I'd be good to go. So there's my little tackle box that comes with this little sling bag of mine as you can see. So let's just go through the, the products that I would use for shared fishing. Like I said I've got my BG reel, 10 pound braid, that's the 8 weave braid. The 10 pound actually breaks way over what it says, it's very durable, very light, it throws 100 miles. I tell you what guys, that braid is phenomenal, especially if you're fishing around rocks and that, and of course as you know you catch most of your shad around the rocks. Quick snaps or these uh, fast tatch, basically as you can see over there, they work very well. You can, I'll just show you how they work just for those that haven't seen it before. I'd obviously have my braid on my reel, fluorocarbon leader, and that's what it looks like. The leader line would go from there to my leader, easy to hold in your fingers. Take whatever spoon you'd like, doesn't really make a difference, and all you do is you'd actually clip it in and you twist. And there it is. Simple as that, throw for shad, if I wanted to change, again just take it. Twist it off, grab your next shad spoon. It's as quick and easy as that. Simple guys, fast touch. They work extremely well. I always carry one or two packets in my little bag. I'll stick it there. Fluorocarbon. Most of the times I use anything from 14 kilos to 10 kilos as a leader. And it's only about a meter that I'm using on it. It's very hard, um, invisible in water, and most of the times the shad won't bite through it. Spoon wise, oh, sorry, scissors. Braid scissors. Um, these are made by mustard. They work very well, cuts nylon, cuts braid. Always carry that with you. Very, very important. Spoons. This is what we call the shad small. It's rounded and hollow on the inside. We've got the V, which is a little bit heavier. We've got the S medium, which is rounded on both sides. And I'll go through why we use three different spoons in that particular shape and color. Of course, you can't beat the trusty old Toby spoon. And they come in all different sizes. This here is the 25 gram. And my favorite spoon out of all of them the falcon. This is the gold falcon spoon. I've caught well, hundreds and hundreds of shad on it. It's a very cheap spoon. It throws nicely. It catches shad all the time. Okay, why four or five different spoons? Simply, a lot of times the shad could be very small and could be out of casting distance of my falcon spoon. I'll go into a much smaller more condensed spoon which is a lot thicker and there's less wind resistance especially when there's wind blowing this will be one of the the spoons that i'll go to it's got a very nice wobble to it not a fast retrieve but it's a good spoon to use the s bend well the shed um, small which is rounded and hollow is a much more of a how can I say, the wobble is a lot more intense on it. 
so it wobbles quite nicely and if I'm fishing over a sandy area it's also a very good spoon that you can use for cob so if you can bounce it off the off the actual sand and bring it up if there are cob around it will eat it it's normally a spoon that I would use in an area where it was very shallow if I could put it that way um, two to three foot of water the shade could just be on a sand bank or just over a sand, a sand bank and that's the kind of spoon that I'd use just because of that wobble that it's got and because I'd have to retrieve it a lot slower this is the V um, large it's my S bend shaped spoon you can see it's got the S bend it's a lot heavier at the back it's V shaped so it's a much sharper wobble it's a spoon that you can throw into the wind or punch the wind, especially when the northeasterly is blowing gale force. Um, it's a very fast retrieve spoon. Um, generally for the bigger shad, this is the kind of spoon that I'd look for. You can throw it far and you can pull it very, very quickly, especially when you make numerous casts and you don't know where the shad are actually fe uh, feeding. Throw this, it's one of those search spoons. Throw one as fast as you can, there might be kingies around. That's the kind of spoon that you were looking for. It's flat on top, V shape, tight wobble. This is the S medium. Um, again, it's a very heavy spoon. It's rounded, gives a lot of wobble. And again, it's for throwing into that wind and throwing long distance. It's a very, very heavy spoon. Can't say more than that. Flat, calm day, first thing in the morning. This slim blinker is unbelievable again it's s bend shape it wobbles very nicely it gives off a lot of shine gold like i always say early morning gold and once the sun is up you go into your silvers nice cheap if you're fishing in amongst a lot of rocks in that there uh, your other spoons are almost double the price it works like a dream so that would be shad fishing with this combo of mine. Now I'm going to show you what makes this combo so versatile. So now I've fished for my shad, I'm very happy about that. I can now take my rod and start fishing for edible fish. Basically I can fish for grunter, bronze bream, stumpies and numerous other fish. Throws a two ounce sinker out of sight. Our normal Kingfisher three-way swivels will do the same job. Um, as you know, if you look in the previous episodes how I've done my bronze beam traces, there are our bronze beam uh, floats that I use. And I tell you what guys, it's a very universal outfit this guys. You can throw baits with it, you can catch, like I said, all the edible fish you want. I've caught one or two skates on it, I'm not saying it's a skate outfit. But it's phenomenal, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, you know, when the sun's up and the bronze beam are feeding, or the stumpies, grunter, pompano. That combo will do it all for you. Bait fishing out the way. It's starting to get dark now. Just before dark, if I wanted to throw for Garrick, I'll take my normal 2 ounce Garrick plug, early morning, late afternoon, and I can fish with this combo for these predator fish, whether it be for kingfish or garrick, very simple. I'll always carry one of these in my bag. As you can see, all the stuff goes into my bag and that's basically a quick pickup bag and you can do everything in a day's fishing. When it gets dark, start fishing for cob. There's a little uh, one ounce uh, 6 hook that I'd attach to any one of my multiple colors that I carry of uh, McCarthy. And guys, that little combo will catch Cobb, Garrick, Stumpy's Pompano, Shad. My go-to outfit for all sorts of fishing. Like I said, if you told me to choose one outfit, this rod, this reel, um, 10 pound braid, and tell me to go and catch fish, I'd be more than happy to do it. The rod folds up, I can go behind my seat in my car, straight off to work, I can shoot down, have a couple of throws for Garrick, maybe throw for a shed, and of course in the dark I can go and catch cob. My favourite outfit. <laughs>